Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 24th of April 2017. It's an end of day review. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. At Google Play, you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market uh, end of day market summation, impressive, impressive starts today, folks. I mean, it's. Uh, Certainly is one of the um, uh, the strongest rallies in, in quite some time since uh, 2012, if I'm correct. Okay, uh, intraday uh, biggest intraday rally since 2012, and that's for the German DAX and the French CAC. So that certainly sums it up. Okay, but let's look at the stats. The FTSE up 150 points, up two percent. German DAX up a whopping 406 points. Impressive, almost 3.7 percent or 3.4 percent. The French CAC up 209 points, up 4.2%. The FTSE MIB up 4.8%. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. It certainly seems like the Eurozone is saved and everybody is uh, is happy, okay? Felicity. Uh, now, let's look at the actual uh, technical picture here. I mean, fundamentals other than the macro uh, news, uh, Macron news with regards to him obviously remaining in the race and uh, certainly him and uh, versus Le Pen runoff, him, I think. The final count was 24% to Macron and Le Pen was 21%. We did get IFO data from Germany coming in stronger than expected, and the Bundesbank report certainly was stronger as well in terms of strong growth. It certainly seems the way in which I'm, I'm reading things is that uh, everybody wanted to buy the DAX and they were just waiting for the French results, okay? So it certainly seems that the Eurozone is saved and everybody wants to reinvest in the Eurozone again. It certainly seems all that money that was on the sidelines certainly is pouring in at present, okay? And playing catch up to US equities. UK data, certainly on the weaker side. CBI data on the weaker side. we got got Chicago Fed activity on the weaker side as well. Mr. Kashkari, really nothing of any major import other than the fact that he argued that infrastructure spending certainly wouldn't revive growth. So certainly does uh, undermine uh, the uh, the actual uh, situation. Oh, well, certainly does undermine uh, Mr. Trump's plan. OK, so uh, in terms of Liberation Day, we certainly have uh, the Italian markets off tomorrow, uh, Spanish markets off tomorrow as well. Uh, you have uh, NZD, Aussie, Anzac Day. OK, so certainly Aussie and Kiwi certainly off our markets off as well. Uh, French markets certainly are in uh, in line, UK as well and German, and German DAX as well. So. Okay, well, basically we had the um, the short squeeze rally uh, but on the back of obviously uh, uh, the news that Mr. Macron was remaining in the race and certainly remains in the lead. Okay, so uh, the uh, radical extremist uh, Le Pen certainly was negated and therefore the markets rallied. Okay, now let's look at the actual market itself. Weekly chart and German DAX were into resistance, okay? Whether we break through and uh, make new highs, that's a different question altogether. But for now, weekly chart is into resistance. Daily chart at the moment, are we broken out of resistance? Okay, we have an unfilled gap left behind. Uh, a gap like that isn't healthy, that's all I can say, okay? A gap like that is not healthy, okay? And uh, all gaps eventually close. So bear that in mind, okay? That gap certainly isn't healthy. 60-minute chart at the moment, you have an unfilled gap left behind. You have uh, resistance or support at 12.240, and then obviously if you retrace at 12.360, 370, uncharted territory early, okay? That's all I can say. Uncharted territory for the German DAX. 10-minute chart continues to make higher highs and higher lows non-stop, okay? From a RSI and stochastic point of view, extremely oversold. Okay, and that's the only thing I can argue with regards to the German DAX at present. The MDAX weekly again crawls higher. Okay, impressive, non-stop. Certainly continues its ascent. Let's look at the tech all share. Tech all share is into resistance, also just watch out for that. Let's see if that's a true breakout or if it's a fake out. Again, that certainly is a, a question is uh, is is certainly open uh, to interpretation. Now the French CAC certainly was the weakest link really. If you look at the ten minute chart showing some uh, fatigue okay looking for a move lower 60 minute chart as well certainly looking at fatigue you have an unfilled gap left behind we're only one quarter of a way through the actual potential election we still have the next round or three more rounds to go okay you did actually put in a doji towards the close we negated the hns formation so just bear that in mind certainly an argument here Too short the market. And that's my interpretation thus far. Certainly looking to short as well on the French CAC. Uh, 
resistance here, a double top resistance, a triple top resistance at 23.90. And again, like I said, you have an unfilled gap left behind. So again, vulnerable to being closed. Okay, FTSE 100, 10 minute chart, we are thrusted higher. But the weekly chart really is an inside bar, bear that in mind. This is an inside bar consolidation. Daily chart at the moment, you're into previous support equals resistance. So watch out for that. Okay, 60 minute chart, previous support equals resistance. Watch out there too. So you are looking for weakness here. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, so we're into FIB 75% as well. Watch out for that FIB 75% resistance and certainly is indicating a risk aversion. That's my interpretation thus far. Okay, 10 minute chart, you have an unfilled gap left behind. Certainly overextended. We've exceeded S3 resistance or R3 resistance. Okay, RSI, stochastics all indicating risk off. Okay. That certainly is a summation, really, of European uh, equities, folks. Let's quickly go over to the euro. Let's see exactly where the euro is. Euro is certainly finding resistance here now. Certainly stuck at the 1.0870 resistance zone. Okay, your pivot low for the day is 1.0820, so watch out below in terms of the euro. Aussie daily at present are holding resistance as well. Looking for risk aversion to kick in. I certainly held resistance at 1085. And again, looking to flush further again. Looking to test that lower level at 108, uh, what, 0 0.7540 zone and potentially go lower to 7520 as well. So watch out below. In terms of the Kiwi Kiwi 15 minute chart, certainly remains weak. Uh, the, the index, the currency is certainly showing weakness. Okay, continues its weakness. Certainly held resistance at 07.7050. Looking to move lower, lower down to 0 0.70. And then we'll assess where the uh, Kiwi is headed. In terms of GBP, let's bring up GBP, especially given the fact that it's crucial for the FTSE 100. It seems like on the daily chart it wants to close that gap at 1.2970. Certainly hasn't closed thus far. Two-hour chart certainly is stalling, uh, okay, but a stronger sterling again, like I said, help, hurts the, uh, and we've said this before as well, hurts the actual index. So just bear that in mind. You are looking for risk aversion here for the FTSE, especially given the fact that oil price is still languishing at the lows. As you can see here, still languishing at the lows, no real uh, movement higher on the uh, price of oil, so therefore looking for risk off. Okay, that certainly is a summation really of uh, of European indice equities, and uh, again, bias certainly from my perspective is is certainly remains bearish given the fact that we've had such a stellar rally and a stellar run, looking for a, uh, a retracement at least, and um, for some air to be uh, taken out of this uh, rally. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit Trade Signaler for the latest app. Goodbye now.